What's up guys, Anamanga here, and I have another CPU tournament for you guys. There will only be one this week, but it's going to be a very special one. In my heart, it will be anyway. This is the Gamblers of Legend CPU tournament. That's right, there are 22 duelists. This is how it's going to work. There are a certain amount of gambler duelists, because I only have so many. I think I only have like 12 types of gambler duelists in this entire game. And there's really two types of gambler duelists, and I'll explain that in a second. And then the rest are like random non-believer duelists who don't believe in luck, you know, rely on skill. Now, some of them won't make sense in this tournament because I just put in some random people that aren't luck-based. And people that haven't been in a while, like Anubis, as you can see there. But uh, let me show you, of the 22 duelists, let me show you everyone. So... Anubis, non-believer. Bandit Keith, luck. Very luck-based. Coin flip, mainly. Banner, luck. Uh, he's a gambler, but the thing with Banner is mainly with his luck is dice jar with the dice. Other than that, though, he's really just a jar deck. Bob Banter, his is more luck on guessing, uh, so he's a gambler. Uh, oh, I skipped Bastion. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Bastion's kind of like in the show, we forget about him. Bastion's a non-believer, of course, he doesn't believe in luck. Charlie McKay, the luck guy from Zexel, so he's a gambler. Damon, gambler, he's the luck of the draw type of guy. Dr. Eisenstein, he's the main one who said luck doesn't exist, so non-believer. Duke, dice guy, gambler. Fua, all around luck, genius, and probably has the best luck of everyone in my tournaments, everyone. He's a god. Joey should be the luck god, but he's won a couple tournaments, more than Fua, but not because of really luck, more because of skill. So, But Joey is the ultimate luck poster boy. It's just Fua has had the best results with luck. So they're both gamblers. Johnson, non-believer, because, you know, he cheated with Joey's luck in the anime. Kaiba, the ultimate non-believer of luck. Lucian. Uh, luck of the draw type of guy. Even though he cheated in the anime using, you know, death itself or the reaper. Um, yeah, he's more luck of the draw in this game. Mathematica, non-believer. Noah, non-believer. See, just random people. Pierre, gambler. He was a gambler from more coin flips, I think, in, uh, when he dueled Alexis. Rebecca, non-believer. Rick, luck of the draw type of guy with heart of the underdog. Sartorius, definitely gambler with his coin flips or card rotations. Um, Valen, non-believer. Siegfried, non-believer. Because he was, Joey used a lot of luck against Siegfried and Siegfried countered it. So let's go. It's all randomized, all randomized here. Um, I'm going for Joey or Fua or... Uh, let me think. Uh, Joey, Fua, or Keith. Joey Fuhrer or Keith, any of them winning, I'll be happy. We start off with Joey versus Rick. Let's go. Let's go. What if Joey were to lose in the first duel? Wouldn't that be embarrassing? <laughs>
Is Joey going to lose? Joey's going to lose? Joey lost. No way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe what I just saw. Did I just see that? Joey lost. Joey, I've never seen you play that badly. Rick won. <laughs> okay. Anubis and Sartorius, let's go. I can't remember where I put Anubis. He's near the top. Yeah, 32. There he is. Right next to Mana. Whoops. I got past Sartorius, didn't I? I can't believe it. I can't believe Joey's out that fast. Wow, <laughs> that's that's some mind blower. Nope, the fool get baited. Come towards the light. So far, Sartorius' luck is really bad. Anubis going off. Anubis is, yeah. He wants to show that luck doesn't exist. By the way, if a non-believer wins, I guess that means luck doesn't exist. Oh, but look, I think luck does, ex does exist. Suit of sword, gotcha. Other than the suit of sword though, all his other cards have been upside down, as you can see. Okay. He has to discard the other suit of sword he could have really used. That's hilarious. Joey went out that early. I can't believe it. Joey's out, the ultimate luck poster boy. Wow, his luck is super bad today. He's still winning somehow though. Here's where Sartorius falls off, I bet. Because he has nothing. Look, he's got nothing. This is gonna hurt. A lot. Temperance? Eh. Okay, depends. Nope, your luck's bad today. Face the Sartorius. Anubis retakes the lead. Non-believers have the advantage. He summons Andrew. Yeah, the better one. Andrew. 
and Pyramid Light. So like the movie all over again. That was the smartest choice, yep. That was the smartest choice, I will admit. Talia? Okay. If you destroy if you destroy Pyramid of Light, you can summon Thanian, because I know he's in your hand. Yeah, I would love to see Thanian, actually. You actually gotta be careful you don't deck out here and run a lot, run out of life points as well. When I was a kid, I used to have three of each of Pyramid of Light, Andra, and Talia. Talia's effect activates. This duel is close. You mess up again, you lose. Don't do it. Don't summon a monster. Okay, you're smart. Eventually he will mess up. He will summon a monster and he will lose. There it is. I think that cost him the duel. Yep, that is way too much damage. Anubis wins because Sartorius is a dum-dum. Okay, so, so far only two gamblers have lost. And there are more gamblers than non-believers. A cool duel Anubis, hilarious. Um, Pierre versus Lucian. So it's coin flip luck versus luck of the draw. I would love personally to see Lucian pull off slash draw. And it's two gamblers versus each other too. Somewhere up here, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Okay, went too far. Oh no, isn't he further down? I can't remember, actually. He's further down. There he is, 89. Would love to see Slash draw. Look at the top three, put them in any order. That's really useful for slash draw. That's really, well, not as good now since you already looked at the top of your deck. There it is, slash draw. Here we go. Dang it. It's just such a risky card. Good news, he actually has something to stall. So he can stall for his next slash draw. Nope. Oh, that hurts. Nothing. Okay. He hasn't reached his other slash draws yet. Or either he discarded them. I didn't really say. There it is. The other one. Please. Ah. That was not worth it. That was definitely not worth it.
Nope. Oh, okay, yeah. Your luck's not too good today, is it? He's running out of cards. Mirror Force. Nope, nope. Nope. Oh, that all went so bad for Pierre right there. We got lucky there. If that backfired, you'd only have 600 left. I don't think you have another slash draw, do you? No, just a Mystic Tomato. What the heck? Is Lucian going to win with three cards in his deck? Six, doesn't work. Sasuke Samurai. Nope. Yep. It's Fifteen hundred right there. That's half his life points. This has gotten really, really close. But most of Lucien's deck is cards to set up for his... Nah, it's over. It was cards to set up for a slash draw combo. Reckless Greed, which is useless. Spellbook Organization, which was useless. Still can't believe the main man, Joey's out. That's crazy. So Pierre wins, but it was interesting for a second. Especially evolution and pulled off slash draw. So, finally, uh, well, honestly, no non believers have lost yet because the gamblers have been facing each other. Bandy Keith versus Rebecca, the first gambler versus non believer duel. This is actually the former American champ versus the, the current American champ as well. I love both these characters, but I'm going Keith. And the Keith versus Rebecca. Still can't believe neither of them are in this game. That's insane to me. Nope, not panic. Let's go Keith. I love Rebecca. She's one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh girls, but still. Bandit Keith. Keith got so close to winning that tournament last week. He uses that awesome coin blip deck. A lot of power behind it. Keith wants his American Championship title back. <laughs> it's a really strong monster. Ooh, limited removal. I was hoping Metal Morph. That costs Keith a little bit. Ah, Barrel Dragon. Barrel Dragon. Yep, the classic. Whoa, Guardian Angel Jin. Actually, that was dumb. You should not have played Dark Hole because you're going to gain all those life points back. In my opinion, that was a bad play, Rebecca. Blow back. This is it. Everything's relying on this play. Backfired. Rebecca won. Yep. Oh my gosh. Insult to injury. See you, Keith. See you, Keith. There's a reason she's the current American champ. <laughs> Holy moly. That was a great ending. Well played, Rebecca. That was a really good fast duel. All of Keith's duels are usually fast anyway. So Rebecca wins, and we'll duel Pierre. Non-believers are doing really good so far. They're eliminating a lot of the gamblers. They don't have to even do much. So Duke versus Valen. Gambler versus non-believer. Uh, I buffed Valen's deck, so it should be better. I'm going Duke here because I, I tend to 
side with the gamblers here. Oh. It was fate. It already knew I wanted Duke. You are number 38. I wouldn't be surprised if Valen wins this, though. I haven't used him in recent tournaments, so... And I've used Raphael and Alistair more. I figured I'd use Val a little, a little bit more. card. As you know, he did use armor cards in anime. Very unique. That pot agree was big. Duke definitely in control still. And takes the lead. Yep, here's his boss, maximum six. Pretty good roll, honestly. Luck is with him so far. This is what I was worried about. This is when Valen gets good. Oh, he threw away some... I wouldn't have... Oh, that's why I did it. Okay. All you have to do is set that and... Or that. You lucky? Nope, you're not lucky. Oh. Permanent loot. He's looped him. He's looped him. I didn't realize you could loop like that. Huh. You can loop Night Assailant and Snipe Hunter? Holy crap. What a combo. Yeah, uh, Duke's won. He can just do this no matter how many times. He keeps getting back Night Assailant. I would just keep that in my hand. He has like permanent, just, oh, he wins anyway. He has permanent destruction. That one played okay, but wow, that combo from Duke. Wow. What, a, what else can you say? That combo from Duke was insane. So Duke wins. Gambler's still doing well. Will Fua or Banner duel Duke? Now, Fua has the most legendary luck in my tournaments. You would think it's Joey, but Joey has actually just more skill. Um, and I think if Joey dueled Fua, he would beat Fua just out of skill. But Fua's luck is actually better than Joey's in this game. You, if you guys go back and watch what he did in Tournament of Champions and tell me his luck is not godly. It's crazy. So Fua versus Banner. I love both characters. I'll go Fua just because it's hard to go against his luck.
He is in the 60s, right? No, he's 59, next to his counterpart, M. Mill. Banner is dangerous. He uses this dangerous jar deck. And they're both gamblers, so gambler war again. Alright, we start fresh. This could definitely change the way Fua plays. He can't use his normal luck based strategy. Is he lucky? No, he's not. Starts off unlucky. Fascinating. Ah, his famous misjudge. Will she negate? Nope. His luck has started off poorly. Luck has really almost bought him a victory there. Will Banner win on this turn? No, he doesn't have enough damage. He was close. He almost ended this turn. And he has Misjudge, which honestly, with Reflect Banner Misjudge, is going to be hard to do anything. Mirror Force? Maybe. Huh. Another misjudge. That stinks. You lose. His luck failed him. Other than that crazy dice jar, his luck failed him. That was a really good dice jar. I'll give him that. Hmm. Fuwa's luck has limitations, does it? Banner advances. So Joey and Fuwa, the two, two, actually all three of my picks have gone out in the first few duels. Mandy Keith, Fuwa, and Joey are all gone. Well, guess I gotta go for Rebecca or Bastion. Um, yeah, and that actually, uh, doesn't that end the first round? Yeah, it does, because everyone else has a buy. So we're just gonna hop straight into the, hold on, let me make sure. Yeah. Let's hop straight into the second round. Rick versus Anubis. Gambler versus non believer. Let's go, Rick. I just want to see the upset. Although Anubis is showing us stuff this tournament. I'm really proud of him. I, I liked him from the movie, but, you know, I loved him being the villain for 10 minutes at the very end after the epic and also interrupting the epic Yugi Kaiba duel. I'm just kidding, I hated that. I wanted to see how it ended. And he ruined that. Oh, this is his only win condition. Other than, you know, what he did to Joey. Use his entire hand. And now Rick loses. So if he doesn't get part of the underdog next turn, he guarantees a loss for himself. Okay, actually somehow his opponent's bricked as well. Oh no, he's not. Royal Keeper. Huh. 
Huh, that actually works if you get through it. Nope, you do not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pyramid energy. That stinks. Man, you put so much effort into it, too. <laughs> I'm honestly impressed with Rick lasted as long as he has. This is it. Finish him off. I need this. Non believers taking control again. They get another victory. All right. This, it honestly makes sense because the gamblers, it's just really, they're not consistent. So it's hard to win a tournament for them. Fuwa is one of the rare anomalies where he actually won a tournament using luck. And Joey, the first tournament he ever won, he got really lucky. But the second one was pure skill on the time on that one. So Pierre versus Rebecca. Please, Rebecca, you're one of my picks now. Win this. Unless Pierre gets really lucky, I think Rebecca's got this. Mom back. You're not the American champ for nothing. You can do this. Almost negated that. Is it possible someone can use misjudge better than Fuwa? Impossible. That was close too. That was a good play. Actually, that was a good play. Pro level skill from the high Q prodigy Rebecca. Professor Hawkins is proud watching somewhere. This is a big moment. Oh, that hurts. That was a big moment. That changed a lot of things right there. This has to work. Oh no. No, Rebecca, not like this. At least we know she has skate good. Here's like spin 50-50 so far. This is risky. Okay, finally she takes out the Sasuke. Problem is all the other monsters. Another, wow, another scapegoat. This is dumb, what you're thinking about. This is dumb. All right, you're gonna lose the duel. I know what you're thinking, but that's stupid. 
Trust me, you're gonna need those monsters later. Oh, you have another trap. Wait a second. Ah, never mind. That's not that good. If that didn't work, that would have been nice. This is it, Rebecca. Dark hole. Really need dark hole. That was the worst one she could have gotten. She's fighting back, but it's really a struggle so far. Okay, that was huge. Things have changed yet again. But, yep, it's shifted. She's taking the lead somehow. Go back, Hawkins, Hawkins. Ah, uh, annoying sand gambler. This judge is going to complicate things. This will complicate things. If, can it negate it? Oh, if either of those had worked, it would have lost her the duel. That was so huge that she got that. Oh, that hurts. Okay, well, no, he recovered. She does not have the life points to win right now. This has to work. Now you gotta take out the Sand Gambler. Okay. Now she only has 1600, but uh, honestly, she's still looking okay. Three? Yep, yeah, that, that worked. No freaking way. Are you kidding me? Please have a good trap, Rebecca. Rebecca... Oh. Yes! Yes! All you gotta do is 100 damage. Come on, you can do 100 damage. Get Fire Princess out. All you need is Fire Princess. Dang, Cyberjar would have turned the duel in a different direction. Marie in the grave is pretty good, actually. Holy crap, no. Dang. If she didn't have Gravity Bind, she would have been gone already. She would have been in the Shadow Realm. A 600 damage every turn. All you gotta do is 100 damage. Just find a level 3 that has, that can get on the field and then you win. Because those same gamblers are wide open. This is a fascinating duel. Oh, if you're dumb enough to attack. Okay, no, you're not dumb enough. Yes, she wins. All she has to do is can the soldier next turn, she wins. She wins. Sweet, what a duel that was. Here almost had her. You really don't have to do that, but yeah. 
Okay, that was dumb. You could have already won. What are you doing? Your force. Just play cannon soldier, you win. What are you doing? Rebecca, you will lose the deck count. Just summon cannon soldier. Why did you throw away cannon soldier? Are you guys watching this? No! Rebecca. Ugh, this hurts my brain. You're supposed to be a child prodigy. From where I'm sitting, it's not looking like it right now. She's lost. She threw away her chance to win. Unless she gets a cannon soldier somehow. That's not going to win you the duel. Oh, it works. Crap. Actually, no, that just costs you the duel unless you have a face down. This is a very interesting situation. Yeah, I was wondering about that. He's gonna go all out. <laughs> His own Abario Shioni killed him. Was that a crazy duel or was that a crazy duel, guys? That was wild. What the heck just happened? Rebecca somehow advances. This is the furthest she's been in a long time. She makes it to quarters. Duke versus Banner. No idea how this is gonna go. If Duke pulls out that combo again with Night Assailant and Snipe Hunter, I'm gonna laugh. Let's go. I love both characters. Go Duke, though. Always cheer DM over GX. There it is. If he gets Snipe Hunter with it, it's an unbeatable combo. There it is. He has the combo. Problem is you're going to lose him. He's not throwing most of his hand to get rid of this. And it's working. His luck's good. Let's test it again. His luck's good. All three fours in a row, no freaking way. He had three fours in a row somehow. And he summons his deck master, strike master, strike ninja.
What a turn. That's how you play on turn with luck based strategy. Banner's coming back. Oh, but Mirror Force. What a combo. I think Duke wins. Dang, he doesn't have another monster. He would have won. Yep, he vanishes. I keep forgetting that. Strike Ninja can do that. Kind of referencing what he could do in Dungeon Dice Monsters. Banner just lost the duel. Yep. Bye bye. You did not need to do that, Duke. Duke, what are you doing? Dukey, that was a dukey move. <laughs> oh, we got his cyber jar got rid of his dice jar. Another cyber jar on top of cyber jar. This is gross. Through five monsters. This is disgusting. Look at this. Whoa. Anything can happen. This is still anyone's duel. That was dumb, Banner. You just got rid of all your chances to win. Is it? Oh yeah, we know he has magic cylinder too. I forgot about that. Okay, he'll survive this turn. Or will he? Oh yeah, he he can stop the targeting. I'll play banner. This truly is a gambler's duel, isn't it? Problem. You still have to deal with the strike ninjas. I think that's the duel because it's about to pierce you. Yo, yeah. You won't even get Dice Jar off. So he wins like he won against Joey with Fairy Meteor Crush. There have been some really good duels, but that Rebecca duel was crazy. Alright, this duel was pretty good too. So Duke wins. Who will duel Duke? So Noah or Charlie McKay? No idea. He's the only Zexel character in here, and there are no 5Ds characters here. Oh, it's McCoy? I thought it was Charlie McKay. It is McKay. going Noah. Even though I should be going for gamblers, screw it. All the gamblers lost that I wanted to win. Wow, how hard he's got Shinado. I'm impressed. I'm impressed you got Shinado so early. No freaking way. That was incredibly lucky.
Oh. Nice work. Noah running. Noah's running scared. That was big. Had he given those append his opponent to those two cards, it would have changed things. It's worth keeping that on the field right now. Yes, it is. You're running out of points there, Noah. Misjudge. We're going to be seeing so much of her today. Yadagarasu. Nope, I think this is the end. Oh, you can get rid of the face down now. Nope. Yep. Ah, it was a spirit e a legacy Yadagarasu. Well played, Charlie. Another win for the gamblers. With 6,900 life points. Almost the perfect victory. Sorry, Noah. His deck is better. It's just... Uh, he couldn't win that one. Charlie McKay advances. So Siegfried and Bob Banter. Another non-believer versus a gambler. But his is like guessing. Gambler. Still can't believe Joey's out. I cannot believe that. He got out by such a random opponent, too. Let's go. You know what? Seeing Bob get the upset would be impressive, so I want to see Bob win. Maybe he'll finally get that day with Alexis. Toll is going to change things. Makes you ask yourself a question. Penalty game. The games have begun. Guess what? Haha, uh -huh, Cyber Jar. Okay, this is extremely bad luck. That was really bad luck. Oh, nice hit. That hurts. <laughs> Oof. Good thing he had that sword, because he was in deep trouble. Just... May as well play too, yeah. Why not? Make it really hard for your opponent to play. So Siegfried gets his boss out, but little does he know it's not going to help him much. Bob must have figured that was worth it. Okay, he won. Bob lost. That duster changed everything. Goodbye. 
Bob actually had a slight chance for one second, but that duster completely changed everything. Sorry, Bob. You had a bad matchup. Siegfried advances. Um, Dr. Eisenstein versus Kaiba. Two luck atheists. <laughs> and Kaiba's the ultimate luck atheist. He's just the ultimate atheist. So, Eisenstein versus Kaiba, who is fresh off a tournament victory. All I gotta say is good luck, Eisenstein, because you have, I, bar I think you barely have one win in my tournaments, and Kaiba, you know, what Kaiba's done. I can see Kaiba win in this tournament too. I mean, Joey's out. Kaiba's like, it's free real estate now. <laughs> I own you gambler hacks. Okay. I did not foresee this coming though. I did not foresee Kaiba not drawing a monster and getting a heavy storm in the first turn. I did not foresee this coming. Kaiba, the champion of the auction heist, is in deep danger. He's got to do something right now. Monster born, that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't work on your side of the field. I summons his semi boss, Brain Golem. And. I mean, you still lose, Kaiba. Ah, it was Crush Card. Eisenstein makes one of the biggest upsets in history and beats Kaiba, who just was fresh off a tournament victory. Wow, can't believe it. Huh. Okay, Kaiba knocked out. What else? Dr. Eisenstein advances. Interesting. So, the second to last duel of the second round, Mathematica and Johnson. Just two non believers. It's just they're random. Just a random duel here. All I gotta say is pass some judgment on this fool, Johnson. So. Let's go. Huh. Typhoon destroys Typhoon. Classic. You love to see it. I do not love to see that, though. Let's go. Come on, Miss Judge. Makes sense. She's the wife of Judge Man. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, this is fun. This is fun. Oh, no, it's not. Wait a second. Nope. He is not lucky today, even though, actually, it's funny. He uses a luck card, but he doesn't believe in luck. So I kind of messed up playing him, didn't I? Putting him in this tournament. The mighty Armel. Ah, oh, yes.
That's enough. Johnson's out. Johnson just like that out. Wah, wah. He was the last person I, I put in this tournament too that I had registered for this tournament. And he goes out so quickly. Mathematica wins in the final duel of the second round. Damon and my boy Bastion. The other pick other than Rebecca No. They're my secondary picks. My boy Bastion, do not fail me. You've failed me so many times. You've never even sniffed a semifinal, let alone a final. Let's go. All right, Bastion. Let's see if you know how to use your deck this time. He never seems to know how to use it. Watch him set in the first lane. Why does he do that? I've always wondered why he does this. Okay, what does he hit? The offerings, that's pretty good. What do you hit? Mirror Force, amazing. Carbon, uh, reviving Carbonet on is incredibly stupid. Okay. You still have Carbonet in the grave, it's fine. Damon's whole thing is drawing, and Bastion doesn't believe in all this junk, all this crap, so, you know. There it is, Etom. So we got Etom out. Offerings of the Doom, yep. Knew that was gonna happen. Go in, Bastion. We know he doesn't have Mirror Force now. Best I've seen Bastion do in a long time. It's Nope, can't draw. Oh, yeah, you can. My mistake. Draw one because of that. Oh my gosh. Maybe a race to see who loses more cards quicker. Upstar Goblin. Nope, you're wrong. You do not have the godly draw power you think you do, or draw like you think you do. This is actually really. Okay, don't race him, Bastion. <laughs> Don't race him, okay? Yozanru, double all Yozanru's out. Draws another card. Bastion wins. Okay. Didn't need to be that hard. But Bastion doesn't take any damage, and yeah. That's the best I've seen him do in a long time. He had an easy matchup, too. Bastion, Bastion. All right, so it's game on. He has to duel Mathematica next time. Now he may have to duel his teacher Eisenstein in the semis if he wins. That'll be interesting. So I'm gonna do two quarterfinal duels and end it the part one here and go to part two. So Anubis versus Rebecca. My num my number one pick now, Rebecca versus Anubis. Ain't gonna be easy. Mm. 
You know what? Hold on. Rebecca, I know where you are. 21. Two duels to go. This could be a long duel, though. You know how Rebecca plays, guys. Rebecca starts solid. Ooh, I knew this starts on... Wow. This starts blowing up everything. Rebecca's perfectly fine with this. As long as he doesn't get monsters, she's like, I'm I'm fine with this, I'm good. Your middle light doesn't change a single thing right now. I bet he has a Sphinx, doesn't he? No? What the heck? No Sphinx? What the Okay. This definitely oh, that's game. Ah, he knew it too. That's game again. Curse of Anubis, okay. Finally he gets a monster. It's the first time he actually summoned a monster. Are you willing? You are. But you didn't realize, did you? Rebecca gets played that turn. She lost some good cards. Uh-oh. Here comes the mess-ups. Okay, I would attack now. No trap? That's game. All she has to do is tribute these out. Yep, that's game. It's a thousand damage. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be a Anubis. Pretty straightforward win for Beck. She's in the semifinals for only the second time in her career in my tournaments. She did it in Wonderland, but lost an epic duel. So, one more semifinal for this video. Duke and Charlie McKay, and it's hilarious that Duke and Rebecca could duel each other. Because they were tag partners in Season 4. So, and they kind of use each other's cards a little bit. Definitely rooting Duke here. Well, that's good. Come on, Duke. Show him your dice skills. Okay, that was lucky. That was stupid. Playing that and, yeah, you just gave me a snipe hunter. Nice work. As if he doesn't have enough Snipe Hunters. Whoa. Yep, got it. Okay, she can't... Nope, didn't negate it. Yep, worked. Duke's Lock's better.
Dang, she actually got a second one? That was impressive. I mean, he actually got a second one. This could do it again. Nope. Doesn't work. Charlie McKay's luck has gone sour. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Nope. Oh, no. That was dumb. I wouldn't have done that. What the heck? Why do you give him a second roll? It doesn't work like that. Okay. Somehow still in Duke's favor. I don't know how that happened, but I just say it's a big card for him. It's really served him well in this tournament. Two only makes you discard a card. Uh oh. You put Duke at 69 under life points. You see, you lose now. Time Wizard, this is it. Ah, uh, he outsmarted you. He outsmarted you anyway. Strike Ninja counters lock deck sometimes. That's cool. It's also the first time we've seen, no, second time we've seen Time Wizard in this tournament. Dang. Dice Knight would have been big had he rolled a six. Okay, things are, are not going well all of a sudden. Shoot. Duke's in danger. Come on, come on, Duke, come on. No! That lost him to duel. No freaking way. That Snipe Hunter would have won in the duel. But he rolled a six. Gotta be kidding me. Dice Jar is his only hope. No. Oh, it was Night Assailant. McKay's luck proved better at the end. Dang. Sorry, Duke. Lost to his own boss as well. Dang. I thought Duke had it for a second. I seriously thought he had it. So, let me show you. Charlie McKay will duel Rebecca in the semifinals. And we're just going to end it there. And then next time we'll, we'll pick up with Siegfried and Dr. Eisenstein. See you guys for the next tournament. I mean, next part. Bye.